2017. The good news for Navy is that they are now 0-8 in Patriot League semifinal games The in game ones. The Well, that's the bad news. The good news is they have come back and won four times, including each of the last two seasons. They dropped game one of the semis last year to Bucknell and then came back, won the next two right here in Annapolis. And two years ago, dropped game one to Lafayette and then came back and outscored Lafayette 20 to nothing over the next two games and won those two as well. So Navy needing to win this one to stay alive. Bucknell one game away from getting to the Patriot League finals. Let's get to the starting lineups. Navy, even though the game is here and Annapolis is the designated road team here in game two Bucknell the home team so you see on the mound Mike Castellani throwing his warm-up pitches before this game let's get you the Navy starting lineup that he'll be going up against here this afternoon leading off is the center fielder Logan Knowles Travis Blue the shortstop bats second Stephen Bourne left fielder bats third and in the cleanup spot will be the right fielder Leland Sale Christian Hodge the first baseman hits fifth batting sixth the third baseman Jacob Williamson Scott Casho the DH bats seventh, hitting eighth, the catcher Adrian Chinnery, and batting out of the number nine spot will be the second baseman, Zach Bigger. So the one change to the lineup, Scott Casho now DHing today. He replaces the freshman Evan Lowry in that starting lineup, and Mike Castellani the senior left-hander gets the start here for Bucknell, trying to pitch the Bison into the Patriot League Finals here in 2017. Castellani, pretty good regular season, 4-1 and one with a 3.77 earned run average. Knowles, the first one he faces, and the first pitch of the ball game is a ball inside, and we are underway here at Annapolis in Game 2 of the Patriot League Semifinals with the Holy Cross Crusaders already awaiting the winner of this series. They swept their series yesterday against the Army. Called strike there to Knowles, and the counts evened up at 1-1. One one. So Holy Cross won both games against Army. If Bucknell wins this series, Bucknell will head to Worcester next week, take on Holy Cross. If Navy wins, it'll be Holy Cross and Navy here next week from Annapolis. Pitch is a ball, and it's two balls and one strike here to Logan Knowles. So Knowles, Blue, Bourne. Normal top three for Navy. Again, the only change was Scott Casio moving into the starting lineup here for game two. That pitch is a called strike, and it's two and two. Knowles, 337 batting average on the season. No home runs, and 23 runs batted in. He did score the lone run for Navy in yesterday's game, going one for four with that run scored. And a lefty-lefty matchup. A 2-2 pitch, soft grounder to the left side of the infield. Johnson has it, and Knowles is retired for the first out here in the top half of the first inning. Set up the defense for Bucknell. It remains unchanged from their starting lineup of yesterday's game. The outfield, John Paul Bell's in left, Brett Smith in center, and Chucky e. Scales is the right fielder. The infield, Sam Clark over at third. Luke Johnson is the shortstop. Tyler Winsig at second. Danny Rafferty over at first. And Evan Klugerman catches the senior Castellani, who faces Travis Blue, Patriot League Player of the Year in his senior season. Hitting 348 on the year. Takes a first pitch ball. The count's 1 0. Yesterday, Navy did not even get a base runner until the sixth inning when Christian Hodge led off the sixth with a base hit. Overall, Van Hoos face just two over the minimum. There's a grounder in the middle of the infield. Winsig on a backhand has it. Fires to first, and he got him. Nice play ranging up the middle there for the freshman Winsig. And the first two batters of the ball game are retired, and Stephen Bourne will come to the plate. Castellani, numbers for him. 4-1, 377 earned run average. This is his 11th start of the season, 12th appearance overall. 62 innings of work. He has struck out 42 and walked 14. And a first pitch ball there to Stephen Bourne. Faced Navy two weeks ago, got a no decision in a game that Navy won 5-4 to four in 10 innings. He went 6 and a third in that game, gave up four runs, three earned. Pitch there is a little looper to short, and Johnson will leap up and snag it for the final out here 
in the top half of the first inning. So Castellani sets Navy down in order here in the top half of the first inning. No runs, hits errors. Nobody left on base after half an inning of play. Navy doesn't score. Buck nil. Coming in. Welcome back out to Annapolis. We go to the bottom half of the first inning. Ben Gordon Goldstein with you. Navy put down one, two, three in the top half of the first inning. So the senior Kyle Condry on the mound here trying to keep Navy's season alive is Condry the Patriot League Pitcher of the Year. A tremendous senior campaign. Get you his numbers in just a moment. But first, the starting lineup here. He'll be going up against this afternoon for Bucknell. Remains pretty much the same as yesterday. At least the players in it switched around a few guys. Leading off will be the center fielder, Brett Smith. Danny Rafferty, first baseman, hits Leading second. Bucknell, the Sam Bobber, Clark, the third baseman, two, bats third. And the cleanup spot today will be Luke Johnson, the shortstop. So he moves up a few spots. John Bell, left fielder, bats fifth. Kiefer Rollins drops down to the number six spot. He DHs. Evan Kluger, been the catcher, bats seventh. Tyler Winsig, second baseman, bats eighth and hitting ninth. Right fielder Chucky Scales going up against Kyle Condry, who's ready to go to work. And the very first pitch is grounded right past the third baseman, Williamson, and up the third baseline. Board over to play it out of the corner, but it'll be a leadoff double on the very first pitch of the ball game by Brett Smith, and immediately a runner in scoring position here for Bucknell. Well, Brett Smith had himself a nice game yesterday, two for four with an RBI. He knocked in the game tying run in the eighth inning of yesterday's game. And then he scored one of the two runs on Danny Rafferty, who comes to the plate now as Rafferty had the go-ahead two-run double. He scored one of the two runs on that. So immediately an opportunity for Bucknell here, bottom half of the first inning. First pitch to Rafferty is outside for a ball, and the count's 1-0. Well, Condry 7-1 with a 2.86 earned run average. 66 innings of work, 57 strikeouts, and 20 walks. And the pitch outside, and the count's two balls and no strikes. He faces Rafferty, second leading hitter on this Bucknell team. Bet at 3.16 this season. No home runs, 28 runs batted in. Good speed down at second base and Smith. Now the 2-0 delivery gets that one over for a called strike and it's two balls and one strike. So Bucknell with the four to one victory yesterday. The Navy now 0-8 in Patriot League semifinal game ones. The 2-1 pitch foul back to the screen, and it's evened up at two balls and two strikes. Look at what Condry did this season. After giving up four runs in each of his first two outings of the season, he went nine consecutive starts of allowing two earned runs or less. So ever since those first two outings, he has been very strong this year. He went 5-0 in Patriot League games with a 1-3-5 earned run average. Now the 2-2 pitch just got a piece of it and fouled off the leg there of Rafferty. Senior's been a three-year starter for Navy, mostly a reliever his freshman year, and started 11 games as a sophomore. So pitched in seven more in relief that year. Moving into the starting rotation full-time, 2016, and again here in 2017. Patriot League Pitcher of the Year this season. 2-2 two -two reaches out and lifts that one down the left field line over towards the corner, just foul. Very close there, going down the line. Would have been extra bases for Rafferty. like it was definitely fouled down the line, but not by much. And could have been a very big first run of the game for Bucknell to really put Navy on their heels early on in this one. Count remains, two balls and two strikes. Still nobody out here, bottom of the first inning. The pitch, again fouled off down that left field line. Rafferty really making Condry work here. This bottom half of the first inning. Saw yesterday Connor Van Hoos was able to go the distance for Bucknell. Strike thrower. He only ended up throwing 101 pitches over his nine inning complete game. 
And Castellani worked a pretty quick top of the first inning, and another ball fouled off there by Rafferty. Fans, just a reminder, please return all foul balls to Davies Dugout. Fans, return the foul balls to Davies Dugout. A long at bat here for Rafferty after Smith doubled on the very first pitch that Contry threw. Rafferty battling with him here. Again, the 2-2 pitch, and again fouled off. Beautiful weather here today after rain and chilly weather yesterday. It was misty and raining at times during yesterday's game. It rained pretty much all night on Friday night, so wet conditions as well during yesterday's game. But great weather here. Now again, the 2-2 pitch misses outside, and now it's full. Three balls and two strikes. Country ready. Payoff pitch now, swing a chopper to the left side of the infield. It's going to advance the runner over to third. Blue has it through the first and just does get Rafferty. For the first out of the inning, moves Smith, though, over to third base. So a long at bat there. Ends up getting the runner over to third with less than two outs, and the three-hole batter, Sam Clark, will come to the plate. Ended up being an 11-pitch at bat there for Rafferty. Really making Condry work there. Navy's going to play the infield back, so they'll concede the first run of the game on a ground ball, try to limit the damage here in this inning. First pitch to Clark, gets it over for a strike, and the count is 0-1. Clark yesterday 0 for 4. Batted 292 on the season, six home runs, 31 runs batted in. It's for another ribby here. Pitch is low. Counts one and one. So everybody is back all the way around. So ground ball anywhere unless it's hit right at the third baseman or at the pitcher. Will score the first run of the game. Pitch there is lifted in the air out towards pretty shallow left field. Bourne coming on on the run. He makes the catch. Runner's going to try to tag. Bourne's throw home is offline. And it's a sacrifice fly for Sam Clark and Bucknell has the first run of this game. A sack fly in the bottom half of the first inning and a one to nothing lead. Doesn't hit very deep. But Bourne racing in, couldn't get a, his feet quite set on the throw and didn't get a ton on it. And Smith who runs extremely well. Able to score, so the leadoff double comes around to score there for Bucknell. Now it'll be Luke Johnson as they move him up to the cleanup spot in the lineup for today's game. Johnson yesterday one for four. He had a two out RBI in that eighth inning, knocking in the fourth and final run of the inning and chops the first pitch foul. The count is 0-1. So Navy immediately in an elimination game finds themselves behind one to nothing here in the first inning. The Navy managed only three hits in yesterday's game. Van Hoos is just two over the minimum in his complete game. There's a grounder to third. Nice backhand stop by Williamson. Long throw across and he shows off the quarterback arm there as Williamson makes the play and the inning comes to an end. Bucknell though does get on the board here in the first inning. They score a run on one hit and they leave nobody on base. We'll go to the second. One to nothing. Bucknell leading Navy. Go to the second one to nothing, Bucknell leading Navy. Ben Gordon Goldstein back with you. A sacrifice fly by Sam Clark, knocking in the first run of the game in the bottom half of the first inning. So now Navy, after going down in order against Mike Castellani in the first, will have four, five, six, two up against the left-hander. Leland Sale, the right fielder, will lead things off here for Navy. Set a first pitch ball, and the count is 1-0. So Castellani, in two weeks ago, 
Six and a third innings against Navy, game that Navy won five to four in 10 innings. Navy did take three out of four from Bucknell last, or two weekends ago, as that one's lifted in the air out towards pretty deep center field, but playable for Smith, who backs up just shy of the warning track and makes the catch. And Sales retired, Castellani has put down the first four batters of this game. Christian Hodge will come to the plate. Castellani in that game did give up a first inning run to Navy. It's on a Leland Sale RBI single. And three others as Hodge stands in. First pitch strike, counts 0-1. Hodge had two of the three hits for Navy yesterday, going two for three in the game. Now riding a nine-game hitting streak coming into this one. Was that one off, and he's behind in the count 0-2. He swung it well towards the end of the season. Comes into this game, 281 batting average, four home runs, and 25 runs batted in. But the nine-game hitting streak, and Sit safely in 14 of his last 15 as well. Navy couldn't find any offense early on in the game, really throughout didn't find much, even in the one inning that they scored in. They only sent four batters to the plate. Pitch low. Jacob Williamson waits on deck. Castellani, a guy who has gone the distance twice this season in nine inning games. Back-to-back -back complete game shutouts in nine inning games against Cornell and Lehigh this season. It was on March 26th and April 2nd. Two down low, and now it's full here to Hodge. Three balls and two strikes. The big thing for Navy, trying to work some deeper counts today against Castellani. They were not able to do so against Van Hoos, who needed only 101 pitches to throw nine innings. Once you get beyond Castellani and Van Hoos in this pitching staff for Bucknell, not a ton of depth. And Navy saw that two weeks ago in the Sunday games as they were really able to take advantage of the pitchers after that top two. Hodge fouling off another one, so a deep count worked here. Counts full, three balls and two strikes. One out and nobody on base. Payoff pitch again, hit foul. Hodge doing a good job of making Castellani work here. Second inning. Navy, again, games being played here in Annapolis, but they are the designated road team for game two. They were the home team in game one, and if there is a game three, Navy will be back to the home team in that one. Payoff pitch called. Third strike looking. Nice breaking ball there. Throws Hodge for strikeout for Castellani. He's retired five in a row to start things. I'll bring up Jacob Williamson. Castellani, not a big strikeout pitcher. Only 42 strikeouts and 62 innings of work. But gets one there. Now here's Williamson. First pitch, that's a strike. Counts 0-1. Williamson yesterday 0 for 3. Pitch, yes, and quickly he's behind in the count, 0-2. One of two freshmen in the starting lineup, Williamson and Biggers. And one Evan Lowry who started yesterday on the bench today in favor of Scott Cascio who waits on deck. as a swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt and back-to-back -back strikeouts for Castellani. And a similar start to Castellani as Van Hoos yesterday. He's retired six in a row to begin this game. We'll head to the bottom half of the second inning. One to nothing, Bucknell. Supported by Country Tyler after the leadoff Winsig. single, and now Winsig. two away, and Tyler Winsig will come to the plate. Not sure if that was Spell going on his own or a hit and run there. Spell really doesn't run a ton on the season, just one for two in stolen base attempts. Maybe more of a hit and run, a quick pickoff attempt there. Spell back diving safely. 
So Noah Song did pick off two batters, two base runners in yesterday's game. Now here's his first pitch to Winsig. This is for a ball. It counts 1 0. Winsig 0 for 2 with two strikeouts yesterday. He was pinch hit for to start that eighth inning, and that's when the rally for Bucknell did begin. Pitch there, that's over. First strike with a fastball, it's evened up at one and one. Wins a 200 batting average on the season. No home runs and 14 runs batted in. Has struck out in just over a third of his at-bats this season. Pitch, called a strike. Counts one and two here to Winsig. So Condry, not a leadoff double in the first, gave up a run, now a leadoff single here in the second. Trying to strand that runner on base. It's the senior trying to settle into this one. Patriot League Pitcher of the Year in his senior campaign. Now the one-two pitch runner going, swing and a miss. He struck him out, throw down doesn't matter as the inning comes to an end. And Bell kind of glances back, looking confused there after the strikeout by Winsink. And again, the inning comes to an end. No runs here in the second inning. One hit and one runner left on base. We'll go to the third, one to nothing. Bucknell leading Navy. Their chairs out to watch today's game out in left field there on the grassy knoll as we welcome you back out here to Max Bishop Stadium, start of the third inning. A one to nothing Bucknell lead. Castellani's retired all six batters that he has faced so far in this game. Bottom third of the lineup, it's Scott Cascio getting his first action of the Patriot League semis. You know, one pitch to him, fouled back, so quickly he's in the hole. No balls and two strikes. There's Cascio moving into the starting lineup for this game, batting 2 11 on the season. He does have two home runs and seven runs batted in. Swung it well when he had an opportunity, though, against Bucknell a couple of weeks ago. Started two of those four games. As the count's one and two. He went four for nine in the two games that he played against Bucknell with a double and a run batted in. And gone quite a while between starts prior to that series. One, two, good breaking ball there. Castellani's curveball's been sharp so far in this one. He has struck out three in a row. Stepping in the catcher, Adrian Chinnery. Tired all seven that he's faced now in this game, and Adrian Chinnery will come to the plate. And Castellani, not a big strikeout pitcher, but has struck out the last three batters that he's faced. And now a first pitch strike on a fastball there to Adrian Chinnery. The senior Chinnery went 0 for 3 in yesterday's game. Batting 274 on the season. Home run, 30 runs batted in. And a weak tapper foul behind the plate. Castellani. Very quickly ahead of another batter here. No balls and two strikes. Here's his pitch. Just outside, pretty close there. Seven up and seven down for Castellani. Yesterday, it was Van Hoos who retired the first 15 batters of the game in a row. Pitch nearly hit him there, and it's evened up at two and two. Second team all Patriot League as a senior. He was first team all Patriot League each of the last two seasons. Saw the batting average dip just a bit this season, under 300. Now the pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's now four strikeouts in a row for Castellani. And two away here in the third, and Zach Biggers will come to the plate. Thanks for the second baseman, Zach Biggers. Castellani, his season high is six strikeouts, and he's already got four in this one. Another first pitch strike there to Biggers. Biggers 0 for 3 in yesterday's game. 
Chapman, 331 on the season, four home runs, 22 runs batted in. Pitch there, grounder to the left side, Johnson is there. Fields throws the first, and it's in time, and Castellani third consecutive inning, one, two, three, he puts Navy down here in the third. No run hits errors, nobody left on base. Well, to the bottom half of the third inning, still a pitches here. For the bottom half of the third inning, he'll deal with 9-1-2 in the Bucknell lineup. Chucky Scales will lead things off, and then Brett Smith and Danny Rafferty here in the home half of the third inning. It's Condry's first pitch taken high with the fastball, and the count is 1-0. and in Bucknell, the designated home team here for this game, although they are wearing the road grays and Navy wearing the home white pants. The pitch fouled off and the count's evened up at one and one. There is a game three. Navy would have to win this game for there to be a game three. Navy would be back to the home team for that one. There's the one one shows Bunt pulls back. It's a ball up high and the count is two balls and one strike. Scales one for four. A run scored yesterday. He scored the go-ahead run in that eighth inning, scoring the second of four runs for Bucknell. And that pitch is outside, and it's three balls and one strike. There's 37 pitches through three perfect innings for Castellani on the other side, to go along with four strikeouts. Condry winds his 3-1 pitch upstairs in the third consecutive inning. He has allowed the leadoff batter to reach. Good speed once again as he puts Chucky's scales on base. And now we'll have to deal with the top, top of the lineup here for Bucknell. This was the concern Costacopoulos had coming into this series. Short series, only have to win two games and could potentially get it done with two pitchers, and that's exactly what Bucknell is trying to do. Connor Van Hoos, complete game, allowed one run yesterday. He fouls that one back, counts 0-1. Now here today, Castellani off to a tremendous start against Navy. And Bucknell could potentially upset the top-seeded Navy midshipman only using two pitchers in this series. Pitch fouled off and the count is 0-2. Smith, one for one, he doubled in the bottom half of the first inning, very first pitch that Condry threw, and then came around to score what is still the lone run of this game. She got scales over at first, he runs pretty well. Condry will check on him. Dives back in safely. Scales nine for 11 in stolen base attempts. Bucknell team doesn't run a ton. Scales the leader on the team in stolen bases. Set started to go then stopped and the pitch is up high. Smith, first team all Patriot League. Honoree again here in 2017. That honor also in 2016 as the runner is going. Pitch is hit on a hop to second. Blues only, rather to short. Blues only play is to go to first. Where they do get Smith for the out, but Chucky Scales running on the play prevents what probably would have been a double play ball there. Blue, a nice play to just snag it on a hop. And there's one away. A little lucky there for Bucknell as well. That ball was not caught in the air by Blues. It just barely short hopped in front of him. And the senior shortstop made a really nice play just to snag it. But another runner in scoring position here with one away. And Danny Ramferty to the plate. It's top three in the batting order for Bucknell. Pretty dangerous. And you look at Smith, Rafferty, and Clark. And Rafferty looks at a first pitch ball, and the count's 1-0. Oh. Rafferty, regular season, ended up 11th in the Patriot League in batting average, third and on base percentage. He draws quite a few walks. The pitch is low.
Rafferty, 0 for 1. Ground out to short his first time up. Head in the count here, 2 and 0. And gets that one over. And it's two balls and one strike. Bucknell forcing Condre to work here over the first few innings. The leadoff batter has been on in all three innings. So nothing easy so far for the senior right-hander. Now the pitch, that's a strike as Scales taking a large secondary lead down there at second base. Can very good speed, you would imagine any base hit to the outfield, Scales would be able to score pretty easily from second base, especially with the lead that he's able to get. Andre checks on him, 2-2 pitch, a pop-up foul territory, third base side, Williamson going over, he slides and didn't make, did make the catch. The umpire originally waved it off and then made the out signal. And now Paul Costacopoulos is going over there. Can't tell what the signal he made was. He did make an out signal. So they're going to say he caught it and went out of play. So the runner will get third base because Williamson went out of play. Ground rules here. There's a white line just beyond the Navy dugout there that is out of play. So Williamson made the catch but then goes out of play. And so Scales gets third base. Rafferty does pop out in foul territory, so two away. And Sam Clark will come to the plate. And the count is 1-0 on the first pitch ball. So a nice play by Williamson, just couldn't keep his footing inside of that boundary line. Condry will work from the wine. Scales is going to get a nice running start down the third base line because Condry paying a ton of attention to him working out of the windup. And the count, two balls and no strikes here to Clark. Clark has the lone RBI in this game. Sack fly in the first inning. Now the 2-0 gets that one over. And it's two and one. Already 47 pitches in this game for Condry. Trying to work around a runner in scoring position here in the third. Scales walk to start the inning. Two one delivery line foul, and now it's two and two. to two pitch, foul back. Clark was 0 for 4 yesterday. Here's the 2 2, which is out. And Fouls that one off. Remains two balls and two strikes. Clark, team all Patriot League third baseman again here in 2017. Received that honor in 2016 as well. Shine away, and now it's three balls and two strikes and a ton of deep counts over the first three innings worked by Bucknell hitters here against Kyle Condry. Condry able to throw four complete games in the regular season. Payoff pitch is a little looper out towards center field. Knowles coming on, he's gonna have to play it on a hop and it's a two out RBI single for Clark and the senior as his second RBI of this game brings home scales, and it's a two to nothing lead here on the bottom half of the third inning for Bucknell. Didn't hit it very hard. 
but just put it in the right spot and was able to drop it in front of Knowles there in center field. And now it's Luke Johnson coming to the plate. So Clark, the sack fly his first time up, RBI single here in the third, and now a two to nothing lead for Bucknell. On the other side, Navy still hasn't even put a runner on base yet in this game. Condry's first pitch here, chopped foul. Count is 0-1. Country has not allowed more than two runs in a game, two earned runs, that is, in a game since February. He allowed four earned runs in each of his first two starts of the season. And since then, two earned runs or less in every single outing. Hopefully he's ahead of Johnson. No balls and two strikes. Johnson 0 for 1, grounded out to third, then the first inning. Condry trying to finish off this third inning. The leadoff walk does come back to hurt him as the leadoff runners reached in all three innings. For Bucknell, they've scored in two of the three innings. Two weeks ago, Condry seven innings of one run, six hit ball against Bucknell. 108 pitches against them. Now the 0-2 pitch, so we're going to fly ball out towards center field. Knowles going back on it, still back, and just shy of the warning track, he reaches up to make the catch for the final out here in the third inning. But Bucknell adds another run here in the third, a run on a hit, and they leave one runner on base. Led to the fourth, 2 to nothing. Bucknell leading Navy. Top half of the fourth inning, two to nothing, Bucknell now leading Navy. Ben Gordon Goldstein back with you. Sam Clark, the senior, has knocked in both the runs for Bucknell in this game. On the other side, Castellani, three perfect innings to begin this game. Logan Knowles will start things off, and he's really hit with the first pitch of the inning. Counts 1-0. and So top of the lineup, two up for Navy. Second trip through the lineup here against Castellani. Knowles, Blue, Bourne as Navy... So trying to find some offense. Is that one off? Counts evened up at one and one. Navy has not sent more than four batters to the plate in any inning so far in this series. So yesterday, Van Hoos faced two over the minimum in his complete game. Now the pitch there, that's a strike to Knowles, and it's one and two. And Three perfect innings for Castellani. Nine up, nine down with already four strikeouts in this game as well. And Knowles finds himself behind in the count here, ball and two strikes. One, two down low, and it's evened up at two and two. Knowles is 0 for 1. He grounded up to short his first time up. Two pitch grounder to first. Played cleanly there by Rafferty. He'll take it to the bag himself. Their ground ball out there for Castellani. Next up to the ridge. Take your first stop, Travis Blue. Nine of the ten outs have stayed in the infield so far for Navy. The only ball hit to the outfield. Leland Sale will fly out to center. To begin the second inning, but four strikeouts, four ground outs, one liner to short and here's blue Move for one in this game first pitch swinging grounds it right to short Johnson has it throws it across and it's just in time to get blue for the second out here in the fourth inning so two up and quickly two down here for Navy and Stephen Bourne will come to the plate Bourne, 0 for 1. Went out to short his first time up. This pitch is high to him, and the count is 1 and 0. Bourne, 
first team all Patriot League in 2016 as a DH. Average down to 288 this season. Pitch, big swing and a miss, and it's evened up at one and one. It was born last year in the Patriot League Finals, but the big hit in game one, the walk-off home run against Holy Cross. As that's a grounder to first plate on a backhand there by Rafferty. He'll take it to the bag himself, and another one, two, three inning for Castellani here in the fourth. Temperatures climbing into the 70s and pretty much clear blue skies here this afternoon. A few clouds in the sky, but after the weather teams had to play through yesterday, it's quite a change. Temperatures were in the 50s yesterday with rain on and off throughout the game. Chilly conditions, field was wet. Today much better. And game two of the Patriot League semifinals with Bucknell a two to nothing lead as we head to the bottom half of the fourth inning. John Paul Bell standing in to lead things off and looks at a first pitch ball. So all three innings so far against Condry, the leadoff batter has reached. And in two of the three innings, that leadoff batter has scored. And he's behind in the count here, two balls and no strikes. Condry, 55 pitches to get through the first three innings. And on the other side, Castellani is already through four at just 46 pitches. Pitch high and away, and for the second straight inning, Condry is in jeopardy of walking the leadoff batter. Bell one for one, he singled to start the second, but was left right over there at first base, and now the 3-0 pitch is get that one over, and it's three and one. Third inning, Scales walked to start that frame. And came around the score on the two-out RBI single by Sam Clark. Here's the 3-1 pitch. It's another strike, and now it's three and two. Bell, a guy that walks a ton on the Erie. Walked only nine times. Country out of the wine, payoff pitch, swinging away and lifts that one in the air down the left field line. Long run for Bourne, and it's going to drop in fair. Now the third baseman, Williamson, will pick it up, throw it into second. It's another leadoff hit here for Bucknell. That one drops in just fair, right in the middle of the triangle of Williamson, Blue, and Bourne. Tough ball there with the left-handed batter up. Stepping into DH. Is the other Ross. way. Nobody could get to it. It's a leadoff double here in the fourth inning, and Bucknell threatening to put some more distance between themselves and the top seeded Navy midshipmen. Navy again lost only four times in the Patriot League regular season. They went 16 and 4. But now facing an elimination game and already trailing 2 to nothing. First pitch swinging here for Rawlings, and he fouls it off. Counts 0 and 1. Rawlings 0 for 1, flat out to right his first time up. Showing bunt now and bunts that one down the third baseline, but foul. And he's in the hole 0 and 2. Holy Cross already awaiting the winner of this series. Holy Cross won both games against the Army yesterday. And nice come from behind victory in the second game. Scoring four times in the top half of the eighth inning. To sweep Army. Bucknell wins. They'll head to Worcester. If Navy wins, Patriot League Finals will be right here at Max Bishop Stadium for the third consecutive year. To pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Second strike out there for Condry. Big one to hold so runner in second. Kevin now Kluberman. looking at the third with less than two outs. Catcher Evan Kluberman will come to the plate. Navy has never won a game one in the Patriot League semifinals since it moved to this format. First pitch ball, and the counts 1 and 0. They are now 0 and 8 in game ones of the Patriot League semifinals. 
Going back to 2008. Pitch, that's a strike. And it's one and one. Four of the prior seven times when they've lost that game one in the best of three, they've come from behind and won the series. Three times they would drop the next game and lose the series. One, one, that's another called strike. That's one and two. Klugerman 0 for one, flat out to left his first time up. Andre, stressful inning so far for him. He's had to work out of the stretch quite a bit. The leadoff batter has reached in all four innings now. One, two pitch, swung on and hit in the air out towards deep right field, but playable for sale. He makes the catch, tagging from second, heading to third is Bell. Throw is cut off. So a runner 90 feet away from scoring, but now two outs. And Tyler Winsig will come to the plate. Winsig has not put the ball in play yet in this series. He's 0 for 3. Next up, second base for Tyler Winsig. For the freshman. Batting with a big opportunity, though, to add a third run here for Bucknell. Condry's first pitch to him. Big cut and a foul tip into the glove of the catcher. He counts 0 and 1. Clark had a two-out RBI single in the third inning that scored scales. And now Winsig an opportunity here in the fourth. Bell over at third, two outs. And the 0-1 pitch to him, another swing and a miss. And quickly he's behind in the count, 0-2. Condry's already got two strikeouts in this game. And now the third base coach coming down the line to have a word here with Winsig. I believe both of Winsig's strikeouts yesterday were on three pitches. And now he's behind here in the count 0-2. Condry is working out of the line with that runner at third base and two outs. And now the pitch swing and a miss. He struck him out. A big strikeout there for Condry after a leadoff double to begin this fourth inning. Condry able to hold Bucknell scoreless here in the inning. No runs on one hit, and they leave one runner on base. We'll head to the fifth, two to nothing. Bucknell leading Navy. Go to the top half of the fifth inning, Patriot League semifinals, game two. Bucknell leading the series one to nothing, leading the game two to nothing. Mike Castellani, 12 up, 12 down against him. Leland Sale will lead things off here in the fifth, and a first pitch strike. The outside corner there with that breaking ball, and the count's 0-1. Sale, Hodge, Williamson, as Navy has not been able to find any offense here so far over a game and a half. Pitch there's a liner back through the middle for a base hit, so Sale. First base runner of the game for Navy, a leadoff single here in the fifth. And Christian Hodge will come to the plate. Sale was the MVP of the Patriot League semifinals a year ago. Or the Patriot League tournament MVP a year ago, I should say. Had a very good semifinal against Bucknell. Hitting two home runs. And gets the first hit of the ball game for Navy here in the top half of the fifth inning. Now here's Hodge. Looks at a first pitch strike, and the count's 0 and 1. Hodge 0 for 1, struck out looking his first time up. Part of, a string of, part of a string of four consecutive strikeouts for Castellani, the second and third. And a pickoff attempt over at first, and Sale falls down back to the bag. Sale only had about a step and a half lead. Not really a guy that's going to run. Pitch, swing and a miss. Off speed pitches for Castellani. Have proven difficult for the Navy lineup so far in this one. Here 
Here's the 0-2 pitch, grounded to third, could be two. Clark is going to go over to second for one, relay to first is in time. They turn the around the horn, 5-4-3 double play. Leadoff single erased, and there's two outs and nobody on base. Well, yesterday, you saw when Van Hoos allowed his first base runner of the game. He still Except faced the minimum Jay in that inning, the sixth, as Hodge was caught stealing. This inning, he gets Hodge round into a double play. Here's Williamson getting a first pitch ball, and the count's 1-0. So Castellani, one pitcher out of the stretch. And now gets Williamson to lift that one in the air out towards right field. Scales is under it. He makes the catch. And despite the leadoff single here in the fifth, Castellani faces the minimum once again. No runs, one hit, and nobody left on base. Halfway home here in Annapolis, it's two to nothing. Nothing easy so far for senior starter Kyle Condry, who's uh, two runs on four hits, along with a walk over four innings of work. But he's already up to 71 pitches as we begin the bottom half of the fifth inning. 9-1-2 due up. Chucky Scales will lead things off. And looks at a first pitch strike, and the count is 0-1. And, and on the other side, you look at Castellani, really nothing difficult for him has faced the minimum over five innings, did finally give up his first hit of the game to begin things in the top of the fifth inning, but only 53 pitches through five innings for Castellani. Now the pitch, a grounder to first, snagged there by Hodge. He'll take it to the bag himself, and for the first time in this game, Condry has retired the leadoff batter in an inning, and there's one away. Flip it back over the Somebody top of the lineup. Now. Brett Smith will come Senator to the plate. Two, First four innings, leadoff batter reached. Twice it was John Paul Bell, who's two for two. Scales drew a walk and scored a run in the third inning. And Smith, who's up at the plate now, doubled to begin the first and scored the first run of the game. So first pitch strike there to him. Counts 0-1. Smith one for two, doubled and scored a run in the first, grounded out to short his last time up. And now the pitch there looks like Condry and Chinnery might have gotten off the same page there. A couple of seniors who have worked together quite a bit, but Chinnery got handcuffed by that pitch. And wonder if Chinnery was expecting off speed and a fastball came in there. Two guys have worked together for quite some time. Chinnery appears to be okay. Now the pitch swing and a miss. That time it was an off-speed delivery. And it's one and two. Here's the one-two pitch now. High bouncer over to third. Williamson charges in. Fields has to hurry to first, then it's in time. Nice play by Williamson. About it quite a bit this year, a multi-sport star in high school, including football quarterback. We saw him show off the arm in the first inning when Luke Johnson, that grounder up the third base line, and Williamson made a nice backhand play way up the line and had a long throw across and was easily able to make it. Time a bit of an easier play, but a speedier runner, able to get him. So Condry chance for his first one, two, three inning. As Rafferty grounds that one past the mound off the glove, second baseman Biggers picks it up, but doesn't have a play. And so Rafferty will have himself an infield single as Andre couldn't knock that one down cleanly. So a two-out base runner. Third baseman, Sam Clark. And here's Sam Clark. He's got both of the ribbies in this game. Sack fly in the first, two-out RBI single in the third. Two-out hit. Third inning, a big one is Navy. He's barely put a base runner on throughout this series so far. Pitch to him, that's a strike. It's 0 and 1. Oh, 
One delivery, fouled off. Kemp quickly, no balls and two strikes to Clark. Pretty over at first base with his third hit of the series. Tundry set, 0 2 delivery way up high. Pitch, swinging a liner out towards left field. That'll be in there for a base hit. So back-to-back -back two out hits. And now trying to go first to third is Rafferty. And great base running there as he'll get in there. And so runners at the corners now with two outs. Looked like it was going to be the easiest inning of the five for Condry. But instead, infield single for Rafferty. Clark already has a sack fly and RBI single. Comes through with a two out hit. And so now runners at the corners. And an opportunity for Bucknell to add on here. Here's Luke Johnson. Condry's first pitch to Johnson. Goes off speed, gets a called strike. So Johnson moved up to the cleanup spot in the lineup today. He's 0 for 2 so far. Yesterday batted fifth, went 1 for 4. Had one of the four RBIs in that eighth inning when Bucknell scored all four of their runs. 4-1 victory for Bucknell yesterday as Andre looks to third and over to first but holds on to it. And now the third base coach is over in the face of the third base umpire, think, thinking that was a balk. And so time is called. So Bucknell looking for the balk call to try to get that third run of the game in. Count 0-1 here. It's Rafferty over at third and Clark at first. Condry's 0-1 delivery just hit him, and the count's evened up at 1-1. One one. These runners in every inning so far here for Bucknell. This inning, Condry got two ground balls to start the inning, and then got a third by Rafferty, but went off his glove into second. They didn't have a play. There's a strike called there. And once again, Condry's a strike away from getting out of this fifth inning. Trying to keep it a two to nothing game as the bats for Navy just have not figured it out in this series against Van Hoos and against Castellani. Van Hoos, complete game, one run on three hits yesterday. Castellani has faced the minimum through five innings in this one, allowing just one hit, but right after the hit got a double play ball. And now here's the one-two pitch way up high. Snagged by Chinnery, and it's two and two. Holy Cross has already advanced to the Patriot League Finals. They swept to Army. 8-3 win and a 5-4 win. There's the 2-2 delivery inside, and now it's full three and two. So Clark will get a head start from first base. Head of him one and two, now they count full here. Three balls, two strikes. Andre already approaching 90 pitches in this outing. Sets payoff, pitch swing and a miss. He struck him out. 
And the second consecutive inning, the Condry strikes out the final batter of the inning with a runner at third base. But a lot of pitches here in the fifth inning once again for Condry. No runs, two hits, and two runners left on base. Led to the sixth, two to nothing, Bucknell. Sixth inning here at the Naval Academy, Max Bishop Stadium for game two of the Patriot League semifinals. Ben Gordon Goldstein back with you, a two to nothing Bucknell lead, and Mike Castellani delivers another first pitch strike to begin things here in the sixth inning. Like Connor Van Hoos yesterday, Castellani has been tremendous. He's faced the minimum through five innings, allowed just one hit. So Scott Kasha will lead things off. First pitch, a uh, second pitch rather, a liner to short. And Johnson able to catch that one. Leadoff batter set down here in the sixth inning. That'll bring up Adrian Chinnery, the catcher. So the game catcher, Adrian Chinnery. Chinnery 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. One hit was a leadoff single by Leland Sale in the fifth inning. Aside from that, nothing doing for this Navy offense. First pitch and strike, and the count is 0 and 1. The offense that averaged about seven runs a game throughout the season, but has not been able to do a whole lot here against Bucknell. Scored one run on a sacrifice fly by Stephen Bourne in the seventh inning yesterday. At that point, they did hold a 1 to nothing lead, and Bucknell rallied back. Next inning, scoring four times for a 4-1 win. He lays off that one, and it's two balls and one strike. Castellani in very good shape in this one. Only at 58 pitches here with one out in the sixth. Pitch up high, and it's three and one. Not walk many batters, only 14 walks regular season and 62 innings of work. But behind in the count here, three and one. Now the pitch, Jerry swinging away and fouls that one off. You can see the frustration from the scene here. Count now full, three balls and two strikes. Three seniors. The starting lineup for Navy, Blue, Sale, and Chinnery. All of them getting all league honors. And that's ball four. Chinnery draws the walk. And so Navy has just their second base runner of this game. It's, it's a one-out walk, Zach and Zach Biggers will come to the plate. Biggers, part of that freshman class. Up third in the Patriot League in batting average in the regular season, tied for third. Comes into this one, 331 batting average, and first pitch inside, and the count is 1 0. Now the catcher Klugerman's going to go out and have a word with Castellani. Castellani, even after the walk, 61 pitches, 42 strikes. So he's been ahead of just about everybody in this game, which has put the Navy hitters in a tough situation. Very few good hitters counts. But here, Biggers ahead in the count, 1-0 with the runner over at first base. Small lead for Chinnery. Pitch fouled off. Biggers is 0 for 1. He grounded out to short his first time up. Went 0 for 3 yesterday. Maybe just four hits, five base runners over these two games so far. Pickoff attempt over at first, and Chinnery not a very large lead. Castellani talked about it before, has gone the distance twice this season in nine inning games. 1-0 pitch, a liner through the right side, that'll be a base hit. Chinnery will stop at second. So back-to-back -back base runners, first time over the two games that Navy has two base runners on at the same time. And the top of the lineup will have an opportunity here in the sixth inning. Chinnery at second, Biggers at first. And here's Logan Knowles, the center fielder. Center fielder, Logan Knowles. A 
He's the third leading hitter in the Patriot League in the regular season. 37 batting average coming into this one. First team all Patriot League and so the first pitch strike. Tough matchup though for him in the lefty-lefty matchup with Castellani. And two of the first three hitters in this Navy lineup, left-handed batters. You got Knowles and Bourne. But Navy, first time in this game, they've put a little pressure on Castellani. Two on, one out. Pitch there, and quickly Knowles is in the hole, 0-2. Knowles is 0 for 2 in this game. Ground out to short in the first. And grounded out to first, his last time up in the fourth inning. Two pitch high, bouncer over to short. They'll go to second for one, no relay. It's a big takeout slide there by Biggers. Didn't look like Winsig was gonna make the throw anyway. Chinnery over to third, but that's the second out in the inning. The six to four on the fielder's choice as Knowles reaches base. Knowles does run pretty well. You got a first and third first situation out. here with two outs. Certainly Navy wouldn't want to make the final out of the inning at second base on an attempted steal by Knowles. But he did steal 16 bases in the regular season. Could potentially get the tie and run into scoring position. Here's Blue, Patriot League Player of the Year. 44 runs batted in and a pickoff attempt over at first base. Knowles dives back in safely. Makes it a little tougher for Knowles to try to run as well with a left-hander on the mound. Pretty good throwing catcher behind the plate in Klugerman who threw out about 50% of attempted base stealers this season. First pitch to Blue, it's a strike. So in one, Blue 0 for two in this game, 0 for six in the series. Two ground outs for Blue, ground out to second in the first and a ground out to short in the fourth. Pickoff attempt there at first. He was able to get back in ahead of the throw. Pitch to Blue in the dirt. Blocked there by Klugerman. Chinnery over at third does not run all that well. The ball would really have to get away from Klugerman for him to try to come home and score on a wild pitch. Here's the 1-1, one, one. getting down low, and now it's two balls and one strike. Stephen Borner is the lone RBI of the series for Navy. Does wait on deck, but again, that is a lefty-lefty matchup. the 2-1 way outside, and now it's three balls and one strike. So Castellani walked the second batter of this inning, Shinnery, and has fallen behind some hitters in this frame. It's the first time in this game seeing Castellani show anything less than dominance. So he faced the minimum through the first five innings, but now three balls and one strike to Blue. set and here's the pitch that's down low ball four and Navy's got him loaded that'll move the tie and run into scoring position Knowles over to second blue into first Chinnery stays put over at third base and here's Stephen Bourne Lugerman is going to go out and have a word with Castellani after Johnson had a brief word to him and now the entire infield's going to come in as well to talk to Castellani Mound visit here. Have to imagine it would take quite a bit for Bucknell to even begin any action in the bullpen. Bucknell's going to win this series. It's going to be on the back of first Van Hoos, who did his job, and then Castellani. 
They do send a couple of players down to the bullpen, but if Bucknell went to the bullpen, it would almost certainly be with Navy having taken the lead. So here's Stephen Bourne, 0 for 2. Bases loaded, though, and two outs in the inning. Junior Bourne has come through with some big hits in his Navy career. It's a huge spot for him. Top half of the sixth inning, trailing two to nothing, trailing one game to none in this best of three. Bourne had a walk-off home run in the first game. Patriot League Finals last year against Holy Cross. Now bats with them loaded. Chinnery at third, Knowles at second, Blue at first, first pitch low. And Castellani continues to fall behind hitters here in this sixth inning. That breaking ball, which was sharp for him in the first five innings, really finding the plate here in the sixth. Here's the 1-0. It's a called strike over the outside corner. Now it's evened up at a ball and a strike. Base hit ties this game. Knowles at second, very good speed. Blue runs well at first as well. Here's the pitch, grounder over to short. Johnson has it, nobody was covering second. Now it's to hurry to first. And Rafferty does hold the bag for the final out of the inning. And Navy will leave him loaded. Dangerous there as Johnson initially looked over to second base and nobody was covering and then had to quickly throw to first where he was just able to get Bourne for the final out here in the inning. No runs for Navy on one hit, and they leave him loaded. We'll head to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Two to nothing, Bucknell leads Navy. So Navy, their best opportunity really of the series. Gets the bases loaded in the top half of this inning, but Stephen Bourne a ground out to short and Castellani able to work around two walks there in the sixth inning. And Bucknell still holding a two to nothing lead as we head to the bottom half of the sixth. Kyle Condry back out here. So that two runs, but back to back scoreless innings for him. John Paul Bell will lead things off in a first pitch strike. Well, this pitch number 90 of the game for Condry. So you would think at most, Condry probably has two innings left in him in this game. So the pitch inside and the count's evened up at one and one. Bell's two for two. Single, lead off the second, double to lead off the fourth. He got stranded on base in both of those innings though. Shows bunt, bunts it right back to the mound. Condry has it on a high bounce and throws the first. It's the lead off batter here. And there's one away for Kiefer Rollins. Condry looked like he was coasting to his first one, two, three inning in the fifth inning at first and second. Got the first two batters of the inning in a row, rather. And then Rafferty, two out single, Clark a single. Put him in a tough spot with runners at the corners for Johnson. But got him to strike out and finish off that fifth inning. So. They're giving up that two out run in the third inning. Condry has worked scoreless innings in the fourth and the fifth and trying to keep Navy in this game. Two to nothing, Bucknell leads it. And Bucknell is nine outs away from advancing to the Patriot League Championship Series. First pitch strike there to Rollins. Rollins 0 for two in this game. Another strikeout, so he struck out four times now over the two games. Pitch, swing and a miss. Quickly it's 0-2. Here's the 0-2 pitch, reaches out and fouls that one off. Main snowballs and two strikes. has hit safely in four consecutive games against Navy. Went four for 12 in that series two weeks ago and hit safely in the final three games. And had a hit yesterday. A foul ball here. 
junior who didn't play very much his first two seasons. And played in nearly every game this season. 45 games played so far for him. 2 pitch, swung on and hit in the air out towards pretty deep left field. Bourne, though, was playing him deep. And just shy of the warning track, he'll put it away. Two up and two down, second straight inning. Condry's retired the first two batters of the inning. Now here's Evan Klugerman. Klugerman had three hits yesterday. He went three for four. Today, 0 for 2, a couple of flyouts for him. And the first pitch from Condry down and away, and counts 1 0. Pitch off speed, Ruud Klugerman gets a called strike, and it's 1 and 1. Condry's still looking for his first 1 2 3 inning of this game. He's got a chance here in the sixth inning. Other side, Castellani, four, one, two, three innings. That's a called strike, gets it over the inside corner. And now he's ahead of the batter, one and two. Four strikeouts so far for Condry in this one. Castellani also has four strikeouts. Now the one, two delivery, check swing, he didn't go. And it's evened up at two and two. Two pitch, swinging a liner. That'll get through the right side for a base hit. Second straight inning. Condry retires the first two batters of the frame. Uh, two out Tyler hit. Klugerman now has four hits so far in the series. And here's Tyler Winsig. Pitch to Winsig. It's a strike. It's 0 and 1. Winsig 0 for 2. Two strikeouts. So he's 0 for 4 in the series with four strikeouts. That's here with two outs and the runner on base. And now the pitch. One is low. It's 1 and 1. 2 to nothing. Bucknell leads it. Sack fly by Clark in the first. RBI single by Clark in the third. And that's been it for the scoring in this one. Pitch there, a little weak number up the first baseline. It'll go foul, and now the count's one and two. So two strikes on Winsig once again. Condry had two strikes on Klugerman, couldn't put him away. to pitch way outside, goes past the catcher, Chinnery into the backstop. Klugerman will take a big turn around second. And stops there, a wild pitch, puts a runner in scoring position, and so now Winsig once again has an opportunity here. He batted with the runner over at third base and two outs in the fourth inning. Now an opportunity here, two balls and two strikes to try to not add another run for Bucknell. Condry with the set. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Chopped up the third baseline, just foul. Condry is up over 100 pitches now in this outing, trying to get the final out here in the sixth inning. Trying to keep this a two to nothing game. He sets, here's the pitch outside, and now it's full, three and two.
sets. 3-2 pitch, reaches out and fouls that one off down the right field line. And three balls and two strikes. Castellani faced the minimum through the first five innings of this game before loading up the bases in the sixth inning. That born to ground out. And now, your Navy left the bases loaded in the top half of this inning. Now looking for a two-out run. Payoff pitch, ball four. Winsig draws the walk. And now first and second with two outs, and Chucky Scales will come to the plate. And once again for Condry, like the fifth inning, he retired the first two batters of the inning. And then back-to-back -back batters reaching with two outs. And here comes Bobby Applegate. Bobby Applegate does make the pitching changes for Navy. No signal has been made as of yet. As he's going to go out and talk to a couple of seniors on the mound. Chinnery and Condry have played together for four years. Naval Academy. Condry, the Patriot League Pitcher of the Year, 5-0, and an ERA under 1-5 in his Patriot League starts, and that's going to be it for him here. So in what is potentially Condry's final start here for the Naval Academy, he goes five and two-thirds innings to this point, has allowed two runs, and he's going to look to the bullpen try to keep this a two-run game. We have a pitching change here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Two to nothing, Bucknell leads Navy. So the senior Brian Wyckoff is on to his 17th game of the season, a two to nothing Bucknell lead, and they've got first and second with two outs here in the sixth inning. Kyle Condry's day is done after five and two thirds innings. Leaves the game on the hook for the loss and also on the hook for the two base runners at first and second. Klugerman at second, Winsig at first as Wyckoff comes into this game. Right fielder, trying to keep it a two to nothing deficit. He's two and zero on the season with a 3-1-3 earned run average. 23 innings of work, 21 strikeouts, and seven walks, and he'll deal with the nine-hole batter, Chucky Scales, here in a lefty-lefty matchup. As Wyckoff's first pitch is a little high with the fastball, and it's 1-0. Scales 0 for 1, he walked and scored a run in the third inning, rounded out to first his last time up in the fifth inning. It's the 1-0 delivery, jammed him in a soft grounder to short. Blue has it off to hurry to first where they just do get the out for the final out here in the sixth inning. Scales runs well, and that was not hit hard, so Blue had to hurry, but he does get the final out here in the inning and leaves a couple of runners on base. No runs, one hit, and two runners left on base. Go to the seventh, two to nothing, Bucknell leading Navy. You might cast the Lani. Back out for his seventh inning of work. He's only thrown 75 pitches, but for signs of life from the Navy offense in the top half of the sixth inning, a lot of that aided by Castellani. He walked two batters there in the sixth inning. Loaded up the bases with two outs, but Navy was not able to score in the sixth inning, so he still holds a two to nothing advantage, and Bucknell still nine outs away from advancing to the Patriot League Finals. Leland Sale will lead things off here in the seventh and first pitch strike and the count's 0-1. Sale has one of the two hits for Navy in this game. He let off the fifth inning with a single. Here's the 0-1 pitch to him, lifted in the air out towards center field, sends Smith back, still back to the warning track, he reaches up and makes the catch for the final, uh, for the first out here in the seventh inning. That ball really Soft carried. Didn't look Christian like Hunt. Smith thought it was gonna go that far and then just kept drifting back and finally tracked it down just in front of the 390 sign there in center field. And so sailing a long fly ball is retired, one away, and Christian Hodge will come to the plate. First pitch to Hodge, bouncer right to short. Johnson backs up a step, able to field it cleanly, throws the first little low. No issue there for Rafferty, and quickly two up and two down here in the seventh inning. 
So after a sixth inning where Castellani had to work a bit, he's got two easy outs to begin the seventh. And here's Jacob Williamson. First pitch in the air down the right field line, but foul. Counts 0 and 1. Williamson is 0 for 2. He struck out in the second, flat out to right in the fifth. Pitch, breaking ball over the outside corner. That's a strike. And Castellani is a strike away from seven shutout innings. O2 pitch, that's down low. It's one and two. Castellani went six and a third innings against Navy two weeks ago and a no decision. Now here's the one two pitch, that's up high. It's two balls and two strikes. 97 pitches in that game. It's at 82 pitches in this one. Six and two thirds inning, so he's in very good shape. Able to finish this game off himself. Two two pitch down low. He'll appeal to first. Say held up there. So Williamson, after falling behind 0 and 2, is taking three balls in a row, and now the count's full. Three balls, two strikes. Castellani did walk two batters in the sixth inning. That set up a bases loaded opportunity with two outs, but Stephen Bourne grounded out to short. So now the count full here to Williamson. Payoff pitch, fouls it back. Williamson, the freshman, playing in all but one game this season in his freshman year. Payoff pitch again, swung on and hit in the air out towards left center field. Bell on the run, Smith there as well. They won't get it, he'll split the outfielders and go to the wall. Williamson will pull into second with a two out double. And Navy has their first extra base hit of this series. And their sixth hit overall. The first five were all singles. And now a two out double by Williamson here in the seventh. And they have a runner in scoring position with two outs for the second straight inning. So the sophomore DH, Scott Casho. And here's Scott Casho. So another two out opportunity for Navy. Just trying to get on the board and make it a one run game. Pitch, shot to foul. Casho could go four for nine in the two games he started against Bucknell two weeks ago. So far in this one, he's 0 for two. Struck out looking in the third, lined out to short in the sixth. Now the 0-1 pitch off the end of the bat out towards center field. Looks like it's playable for Smith. He puts it away. Second straight inning that Castellani strands a runner in scoring position. And now Bucknell six outs away from advancing to the Patriot League Finals. No runs here in the seventh inning on one hit and one runner left on base. Stretch time here at Max Bishop Stadium. It's 2 to nothing. Bucknell leading Navy. Got the bottom half of the seventh inning. Still two to nothing, Bucknell leading Navy. Top of the lineup to up for Bucknell here in the inning. Brian Wyckoff back out for his first full inning of relief work. And throws the first pitch ball to Smith and the count's one and oh. Smith, Rafferty, Clark here for Bucknell. Leading it two to nothing here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Strike dealt there by Wyckoff, and it's evened up at one and one. Wyckoff came on with first and second, two outs in the sixth inning, and got scales to ground out to short. And that pitch is low, and it's two and one. Smith one for three, doubled to 
in the bottom of the first inning. Very first pitch that Kyle Condry threw and then came around to score on a Sam Clark sack fly. And the 2 1 popped way up in the air. Chinnery can't find it, rips the mask off. Coming down from first now is Hodge. And Hodge, a good job to bail out Chinnery, who could never find the ball and make the play there in foul territory. And Wyckoff able to get the first batter here of the seventh inning. And that'll bring up Danny Rafferty. So Condry leaving the game on the hook for the loss. Five and two thirds innings of two runs, seven hit ball. First pitch strike here to Rafferty. Condry had base runners on against him in all six innings that he pitched in. Really nothing easy for him as the senior had to battle through five and two thirds. Pitched down and away. It's evened up at one and one. Did a good job of keeping Navy in this game. They just have not been able to find any offense through the two games. The 1-1 liner out towards right. That'll drop in there for a base hit. Second hit of the game for Rafferty, who now has back-to-back multi-hit games. And Sam Clark, third base Sam Clark will come to the plate. Navy has had trouble with Clark here today. He's got both of the RBIs in this game. Sack fly in the first, RBI single in the third. And he also singled in the fifth inning. So they've had difficulty with the top three in the lineup. Smith, Rafferty, and Clark have made up the bulk of the offense over the two games and the six runs for Bucknell as the first pitch rides up and into him. Counts 1-0. Clark with the two-for-two two game in this one has his average up to right at 300 on the season. Called a strike there. It's evened up at one and one. So the sack fly for him in the first inning had the big two out RBI single in the third inning. That scored Chucky e. Scales. Now bats with a runner at first and one down here in the seventh. And the pitch there is hammered out towards pretty deep right field. Sale going back. It's over his head and one hops off the wall. Sale will play it on a bare hand and do a pretty good job of holding. Clark to a single there. Rafferty, though, does go first to third as the ball skidded past the cutoff, man. Nicely played there by Sale off the wall. But now, runner in scoring position over at third with less than two and outs in the inning. Johnson. Johnson will come to the plate. See how Navy elects to play the infield here. Probably back in the middle and in at the corners. And Bobby Applegate's going to come out. No view of the Navy bullpen from our vantage point. And Bobby Applegate does make the signal down to the bullpen, so that's going to be it for Wyckoff here after allowing back-to-back -back hits here in the seventh inning. So we have a pitching change. Bucknell, an opportunity to add some important insurance runs. We'll get to the details of the change after this. As Cam Hoot enters his 19th game of the season, he'll face the cleanup batter Luke Johnson here. Got Rafferty over at third, Clark at first. Navy is going to play back for the double play. At least up the middle. Now the third baseman, Williamson, is going to come and play right in line with the bag at third. The first pitch here is inside, and the count is 1-0. Cam Hoot, 2-2, two 3-4-1 two, ERA. 31 and two-thirds innings of work, 30 strikeouts and nine walks. A 1-0 delivery, that's low. And it's two balls and no strikes. Johnson 0 for three. Ground out to third in the first inning. And up to center in the third, and he struck out swinging in the fifth inning. Back-to-back -back hits, though, by Rafferty and Clark here in the seventh inning. Here's the 2-0, that's way up high. And now in jeopardy of loading up the bases for John Paul Bell, who's got two hits in this game. Rio delivery, that one gets over. It's three balls and one strike. 
Bucknell, one run in the first, one in the third. Threatening to add on here in the seventh inning. Davey already staring at that 2-0 deficit. The pitch here, swinging a grounder past the diving Williamson and into left field. That'll be a base hit and an RBI single for Johnson. Now a 3-0 Bucknell lead. Three straight singles by Rafferty, Clark, and Johnson. And now a 3-0 lead, and Bucknell double-digit hits for the second consecutive game. And a big insurance so, run here in the bottom it. half of the seventh inning. It's the Navy team that hasn't really been able to string together anything in this series. They'll find themselves then to score three runs over their final six outs. Here's John Paul Bell. First pitch outside, and the count's 1-0. Bell, two for three, singled in the first, doubled in the fourth inning, and grounded back to the pitcher in the sixth. Run there, charge to Wyckoff. Clark over at second also belongs to him. So the pitch hit sharply to second, could be two. Biggers the second for one relay to first is wild, and another run is going to come home and score here. And now heading into second base is Bell. No RBI there on the play, but the fourth run of the game scored by Bucknell. It'll be a fielder's choice, then a throwing error by Blue allows Clark to score. Johnson forced out at second on the play. Bell ends up at second. And now four to nothing, Bucknell leads it. Looked like it had a chance of being an inning ending double play. But blew a little off balance catching the throw from Biggers. Couldn't make a good one to first. And now four to nothing, two runs across here in the seventh for Bucknell. And here's Kiefer Rollins. First pitch down and in, and the count's one and oh. Rowling's 0 for 3. Two flyouts and a strikeout. Pitch went around. It's 1 and 1. It's now 4 to nothing. It's top 3 in the lineup for Smith, Rafferty, and Clark. And so tough in the two games for Navy to handle. And it's Rafferty and Clark scoring two more runs here in the seventh inning. It's called strike. Now it's a ball and two strikes. On the other side, Castellani, who has been tremendous in this game, now spotted a four-run lead with six outs remaining. Pitch, grounder back to the mound. Cam Hoot has it. He'll throw it over to first, and the inning comes to an end. But not before Bucknell tacks the three series. Only need two pitchers, and Bucknell certainly with an opportunity to win this game, win this series using only two pitchers. Van Hoos, bleak game yesterday. Castellani back out for the eighth today. And a first pitch strike here. To Adrian Chinnery, who begins things here in the eighth inning. Castellani, after that first pitch, 88 pitches so far in this game. Imagine it would take quite a bit for Bucknell to go to the pen at this point. Pitch there, high bouncer over to third. Clark waits back on it, takes his time setting his feet. Knowing the base runner there and able to throw out Chinnery over at first. And once again, the leadoff batter is retired here in the eighth inning. And Zach Biggers will come to the plate. It's coming in. Freshman second baseman, Zach Biggers. Biggers has one of the three hits for Navy in this game, singled in the sixth inning. Pitch inside, and it's 1-0. and What a job by Sam Clark in this game. Three for three, he's got two of the RBIs for Bucknell, also scored a run. That one fouled off, and it's evened up at one and one. 
Clark, first team all Patriot League third baseman. They're an 0 for 4 game yesterday, coming through in a big way in this game. Sack fly his first trip to the plate and then three straight hits last three times up. Pitch outside and it's two balls and one strike. The second run in that fourth or in that seventh inning for Bucknell was unearned. Two runs in that inning, both charged to Wyckoff. So pitch high and away, and it's three and one. One earned, one unearned. But either way, a 4 nothing Bucknell lead. We have action going in their bullpen. But again, you would imagine it'd take quite a few base runners for Bucknell to dip into the pen. Here's the 3 1 pitch swing and popped him up. Right side of the infield, it's the second baseman, Winsig, calling for it and puts it away. For the second out here in the eighth inning, two up and two down, and now to be Logan Knowles. Setting in the leadoff hitter, Logan Knowles. Navy had opportunities in both the sixth and the seventh innings, left them loaded in the sixth inning. Had a runner at second with two outs in the seventh inning, but could not cash in. So now down to so now down to their final four outs in this game as Knowles pops it up behind the plate. Klugerman going back in. Make it down to their final three outs as Knowles is down here in the eighth inning and Navy goes down one, two, three here in the eighth inning. And we'll head to the bottom half of the eighth. Four to nothing Bucknell lead. Ben Gordon Goldstein back with you. Sean Camhoot is going to come back out here. Bottom half of the eighth inning. He did allow... Two inherited runners to score there in the seventh inning. And now it'll be the bottom third of the lineup here for Bucknell. Having Klugerman, who's got four hits in the series, will lead things off. That first pitch strike in the count, so and one. So Navy will have one final chance at it in the ninth. They will have two, three, four due up, but needing four runs now after that two-run seventh inning by Bucknell. That one's lined out towards right. Sale coming on, and he has it bounce over his head, and that'll go to the wall. Klugerman will head into second as Sale got caught in between there, thinking he might have a chance to catch it in the air. Instead, he had to pull up, but it bounces over his head. It's a double. And another runner in scoring position. Sale, who made such a nice play on that Clark ball, off the wall there in the seventh inning to hold them to a single. Now allows Klugerman Next up, second baseman, Tyler Winsig. to get a double here to begin the eighth inning. And here comes Bobby Applegate. Slow walk out to the mound. He hasn't made a signal. A chat for now with Cam Hoot. Klugerman has five hits in this series. Two more in this game after a three hit game yesterday. Single in the sixth inning, double in the eighth inning, and now it will be it for Cam Hoot. So they're going to go to the bullpen. Another pitching change here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Four to nothing. Bucknell leading Navy. They trail it four to nothing. The leadoff double there by Klugerman to begin this bottom half of the eighth inning. Meenick gave up two runs in yesterday's game. Enters his 27th game of the season, five and one with a 2.18 ERA. 33 innings of work, 25 strikeouts, and six walks. For the senior side winding righty and Winsig squaring to bunt, bunts it foul at the plate. And counts 0 and 1. Winsig struck out his first two times up and then drew a walk in the sixth inning that forced Kyle Condry from the game. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Now trying to bump the runner over to third to add a fifth opportunity. And that one's bunted foul. And now two strikes there on Winsig. Trying to bump that runner over to third to give Bucknell an opportunity at a 5 to nothing lead. Again, Navy has Blue, Bourne, and Sale 
Two up there in the ninth inning. They have managed only six hits total over these two games against Bucknell. 0-2 pitch, called third strike looking. And Winsig is down on strikes for the fifth time in this series. And here's Chucky Scales. First pitch to Scales, liner out towards center. Coming on is Knowles, he has the plate on a hop. It was a good read by Klugerman at second. Now the relay home goes past everybody. Is Biggers caught that one and thought he had a chance on a play at the plate and just spiked it right into the mound. It's an RBI single there for Scales. Klugerman will end up at second, or rather Smith will end up. Scales will end up at second. Klugerman scoring on the play. So now a five to nothing Bucknell lead. So they've scored three runs over the last two innings. Pitch here, chopper to third. Williamson has that one, looks the runner back to second and then throws to first in time to get Smith. So that's the second out here in the eighth inning. And here's Danny Rafferty, back-to-back multi-hit games. The main number 24, Danny Rafferty. Rafferty and Clark have combined for five hits in this game. The two three batters, the first pitch strike there to Rafferty. Run by Klugerman, charge to Camhoot, who had allowed two inherited runners of his own to score, so the Navy bullpen has struggled over these two games. Navy bullpen has now allowed five inherited runners to score. So nine runs have been scored so far by Bucknell over the two games. Five of them inherited runners by the Navy bullpen who trail it five to nothing. And there's such a tremendous regular season for this Navy team going 16 and four in conference play in the regular season. They are down to their final three outs and just hoping it'll only be a five to nothing deficit down the way and it's one and two here to Rafferty. Set, one, two, pitch, swung it and pop the foul. Out of play and it remains a ball and two strikes. Condry started this game, gave up two runs on seven hits in five and two-thirds innings, but really had to labor through those innings. He threw 110 pitches, one off a season high. Now the one-two delivery, just inside, it's two and two. Nellen has put the pressure on Navy since the very first batter of this game. They've had a base runner in every single inning of this game. Down and away with it. Now it's full, three and two. So nothing easy for any of the Navy pitchers. Sets, payoff pitch, swung on and hit high in the air out towards right field, playable though for a sale, who makes the catch and the inning comes to an end. But Bucknell 
Adds another run here in the eighth inning. They score. Dede Navy, Ben Gordon Goldstein back with you. Mike Castellani trying to finish off the complete game shutout to send Bucknell into the Patriot League Tournament Finals. Travis Blue leading things off, fouls off the first pitch. Castellani starts the inning at 95 pitches. Yesterday it was Van Hoos, 101 pitches with a complete game. They give up one run in this game, in yesterday's game. Castellani looking for the complete game shutout. Pitch up high, and it's one and one. Navy really only two chances in this game to get on the board against Castellani. Loaded up the bases with two outs in the sixth, but then Bourne grounded out, and then a two-out double by Williamson. And Cascio flied out to center. So looking for base runners here in the ninth inning as they trail it five to nothing. Other side, Bucknell, five runs on 12 hits. They have double-digit hits in both games. In fact, 12 hits in both games. 2-1, two fouled off, and now it's 2-2. Two two. Travis Blue hitless over the two games, the Patriot League Player of the Year. But 0 for 6 in the two games to draw a walk his last time up. Here's the 2-2 pitch, foul back. Castellani is able to get the final three outs of this game. It'll be the first time since 2014 that the Patriot League Finals will not be played in Annapolis. 2-2 pitch, a high bouncer off the foot there of Blue. It's a foul ball. Last time Navy lost in the semifinals of the Patriot League Tournament, it was also to Bucknell back in 2014. That was so the last time Bucknell went to the NCAA Tournament. This year, Castellani gets the final three outs. Bucknell will head to Holy Cross for the Patriot League Finals. Pitch getting fouled off. Cross, who awaits the winner of this series, is the only Patriot League member who has not been to the NCAA tournament before. That pitch is low, and now it's three and two. Navies won the Patriot League championship seven times, Bucknell six times. And Holy Cross has never won it. Navy knocked him out in three games in the finals last year. Payoff pitch, and foul. Action going in Bucknell's bullpen, but like we talked about in the eighth inning, it would take quite a few base runners for Scott Heather to take Castellani out of this game. 3 2 pitch is a called third strike looking. Blue thought it was ball four, it was close, but it's a strikeout there. Fifth of the game for Castellani in eight the inning. First out to begin the ninth eight, inning. He's now retired five in a row since the double by Williamson in the seventh. And now Bucknell is two outs away from heading to the Patriot League Finals. Here's Bourne, 0 for 3. First pitch struck. Bourne is responsible for the lone RBI. In this series by Navy, it was a sacrifice fly in the seventh inning of game one. It's been it for the offense, and now he's behind on the count 0-2. Oh Gordon is 0-5 for 5 in the series with that sack fly. Really, nobody for Navy has hit in the two games. 0-2 oh pitch, reaches out and pops it up down the third baseline. Clark over, he makes the catch. And now Bucknell, one out away from a huge upset here in the Patriot League semifinals on the back of two pitchers, Connor Van Hoos and Mike Castellani. Short series. You have the arms to do it, can get through it with two arms. And that's exactly what Bucknell is trying to do. 
And Stellani, one out away from a complete game shutout. Around 108 pitches in this game. Here's Sale, first pitch inside. Those runs in the seventh and the eighth innings take quite a bit of pressure off Castellani here in the ninth inning. They scored two in the seventh, one in the eighth inning. And now it's 2-0 to Leland Sale. In a situation prior to the seventh where whenever Navy put a base runner on, they would bring the tie and run to the plate. Now they need quite a few base runners and just haven't been able to string it together over these two games. 2-0 pitch, swing and a miss. Sale does have one of the three hits in this one for Navy, one for three. And Stellani, eight and two-thirds shutout innings, looking for one final out. And that's a strike over the outside corner. And now Navy down to their final strike, down to their final out. The senior Castellani tries to finish this one off for Bucknell. There's the 2-2 pitch. This is for a ball, and it's full, 3-2. It's pretty close to the same spot that Blue got rung up on to begin this inning. Payoff pitch now, swing and a miss. He struck him out in a complete game shutout for Mike Castellani as Bucknell with the huge upset of Navy here in the Patriot League semifinals. And they're headed to Worcester next week to take on Holy Cross in the Patriot League finals. What a pitching performance from both Castellani and Connor Van Hoos yesterday. It took Bucknell just two pitchers to win two games against Navy, and they take down the regular season champs here. Final score here in game two, five to nothing as Castellani with the complete game shutout to pitch Bucknell into the Patriot League Finals next week against Holy Cross. Take a break, come back into the stats and a recap as Bucknell is headed to the Patriot League Finals. 2017. The good news for Navy is that they are now 0-8 in Patriot League semifinal games. The in game ones, the well, that's the bad news. The good news is they have come back and won four times, including each of the last two seasons. They dropped game one of the semis last year to Bucknell and then came back, won the next two right here in Annapolis. And two years ago, dropped game one to Lafayette and then came back and outscored Lafayette 20 to nothing over the next two games and won those two as well. So Navy needing to win this one to stay alive. Bucknell one game away from getting to the Patriot League finals. Let's get to the starting lineups. Navy, even though the game is here and Annapolis is the designated road team here in game two Bucknell the home team so you see on the mound Mike Castellani throwing his warm-up pitches before this game let's get you the Navy starting lineup that he'll be going up against here this afternoon leading off is the center fielder Logan Knowles Travis Blue the shortstop at second Stephen Bourne left fielder bats third and eating the cleanup spot will be the right fielder Leland Sale Christian Hodge the first baseman hits fifth batting sixth the third baseman Jacob Williamson Scott Casho the DH bat seventh, hitting eighth, the catcher Adrian Chinnery, and batting out of the number nine spot will be the second baseman, Zach Biggers. So the one change to the lineup, Scott Casho now DHing today. He replaces the freshman Evan Lowry in that starting lineup, and Mike Castellani the senior left-hander gets the start here for Bucknell, trying to pitch the Bison into the Patriot League Finals here in 2017. Castellani, pretty good regular season, 4-1 and one with a 3.77 earned run average. Knowles, the first one he faces, and the first pitch of the ball game is a ball inside, and we are underway here at Annapolis in Game 2 of the Patriot League Semifinals with the Holy Cross Crusaders already awaiting the winner of this series. They swept their series yesterday against the Army. Called strike there to Knowles, and the count's evened up at 1-1. One and one. So Holy Cross won both games against Army. If Bucknell wins this series, Bucknell will head to Worcester next week, take on Holy Cross. If Navy wins, it'll be Holy Cross and Navy here next week from Annapolis. 
pitches a ball, and it's two balls and one strike here to Logan Knowles. So Knowles, Blue, Born, normal top three for Navy. Again, the only change was Scott Cascio moving into the starting lineup here for game two. That pitch is a called strike, and it's two and two. Knowles, 337 batting average on the season. No home runs, had 23 runs batted in. He did score the lone run for Navy in yesterday's game, going one for four with that run scored. And a lefty-lefty matchup. A 2-2 two -two pitch, soft grounder to the left side of the infield. Johnson has it, and Knowles is retired for the first out here in the top half of the first inning. Set up the defense for Bucknell. It remains unchanged from their starting lineup of yesterday's game. The outfield, John Paul Bells in left, Brett Smith in center, and Chucky e. Scales is the right fielder. The infield, Sam Clark over at third. Luke Johnson is the shortstop. Tyler Winsig at second. Danny Rafferty over at first. And Evan Klugerman catches the senior Castellani, who faces Travis Blue, Patriot League Player of the Year in his senior season. Getting 348 on the year. Takes a first pitch ball. The count's 1 0. Yesterday, Navy did not even get a base runner until the sixth inning when Christian Hodge led off the sixth with a base hit. Overall, Van Hoos faced just two over the minimum. There's a grounder in the middle of the infield. Winsig on a backhand has it. Fires to first, and he got him. Nice play ranging up the middle there for the freshman Winsig. And the first two batters of the ball game are retired, and Stephen Bourne will come to the plate. Castellani, numbers for him. 4-1, 377 earned run average. This is his 11th start of the season, 12th appearance overall. 62 innings of work. He has struck out 42 and walked 14. And a first pitch ball there to Stephen Bourne. Faced Navy two weeks ago, got a no decision in a game that Navy won five to four in ten innings. He went six and a third in that game, gave up four runs, three earned. Pitch there is a little looper to short, and Johnson will leap up and snag it for the final out here in the top half of the first inning. So Castellani sets Navy down in order here in the top half of the first inning. No runs, hits errors. Nobody left on base. After half an inning of play, Navy doesn't score. Buck nil. Coming in. Welcome back out to Annapolis. We go to the bottom half of the first inning. Ben Gordon Goldstein with you. Navy put down one, two, three in the top half of the first inning. So the senior Kyle Condry on the mound here trying to keep Navy's season alive is Condry the Patriot League Pitcher of the Year. A tremendous senior campaign. Get you his numbers in just a moment, but first the starting lineup here. He'll be going up against this afternoon for Bucknell. Remains pretty much the same as yesterday, at least players in it switched around a few guys. Leading off will be the center fielder, Brett Smith. Danny Rafferty, first baseman, hits Leading second. Bucknell, the Sam Clark, the third second, baseman, the bats two, third. And the cleanup spot today will be Luke Johnson, the shortstop, so he moves up a few spots. John Bell, left fielder, bats fifth. Kiefer Rollins drops down to the number six spot. He DHs. Evan Kluger, been the catcher, bats seventh. Tyler Winsig, second baseman, bats eighth and hitting ninth. Right fielder Chucky e. Scales going up against Kyle Condry, who's ready to go to work. And the very first pitch is grounded right past the third baseman, Williamson, and up the third base line. Board over to play it out of the corner, but it'll be a leadoff double on the very first pitch of the ball game by Brett Smith, and immediately a runner in scoring position here for Bucknell. First baseman, Dave Rafferty. Well, Brett Smith. Had himself a nice game yesterday, two for four with an RBI. He knocked in the game tying run in the eighth inning of yesterday's game. And then he scored one of the two runs on Danny Rafferty, who comes to the plate now as Rafferty had the go-ahead two-run double. He scored one of the two runs on that. So immediately an opportunity for Bucknell here, bottom half of the first inning. First pitch to Rafferty is outside for a ball, and the count's 1-0. Well, Condry 7-1 with a 2.86 earned run average. 66 innings of work, 57 strikeouts, and 20 walks. And the pitch outside, and counts two balls and no strikes. He faces Rafferty, second leading hitter on this Bucknell team. Bet at 3.16 this season. No home runs, 28 runs batted in. Speed down at second base and Smith. Now 
a 2-0 delivery, gets that one over for a called strike, and it's two balls and one strike. So Bucknell with the 4-1 victory yesterday. The Navy now 0-8 in Patriot League semifinal game ones. The 2-1 pitch foul back to the screen, and it's evened up at two balls and two strikes. Look at what Condry did this season after giving up four runs in each of his first two outings of the season. He went nine consecutive starts of allowing two earned runs or less. So ever since those first two outings, he has been very strong this year. He went 5-0 and in Patriot League games with a 1-3-5 earned run average. Now the 2-2 pitch just got a piece of it and fouled off the leg there of Rafferty. Senior's been a three-year starter for Navy, mostly a reliever his freshman year, and started 11 games as a sophomore, so pitched in seven more in relief that year. And moving into the starting rotation full-time, 2016, and again here in 2017. Patriot League Pitcher of the Year this season. 2-2 reaches out and lifts that one down the left field line over towards the corner, just foul. Very close there, going down the line. Would have been extra bases for Rafferty. Looked like it was definitely fouled down the line, but not by much. And could have been a very big first run of the game for Bucknell. To Really put Navy on their heels early on in this one. Count remains, two balls and two strikes. Still nobody out here, bottom of the first inning. The pitch, again fouled off down that left field line. Rafferty really making Condry work here. This bottom half of the first inning. Saw yesterday, Connor Van Hoos was able to go the distance for Bucknell, strike thrower. He only ended up throwing 101 pitches over his nine inning complete game. And Castellani worked a pretty quick top of the first inning, and another ball fouled off there by Rafferty. Fans, just a reminder, please return all foul balls to Navy's dugout. Fans, return the foul balls to Navy's dugout. A long at bat here for Rafferty after Smith doubled on the very first pitch that Condry threw. Rafferty battling with him here. Again, the 2-2 pitch, and again fouled off. Beautiful weather here today after rain and chilly weather yesterday. It was misty and raining at times during yesterday's game. It rained pretty much all night on Friday night, so wet conditions as well during yesterday's game. But great weather here. Now again, the 2-2 pitch misses outside, and now it's full, three balls and two strikes. Country ready. Payoff pitch now, swing a chopper to the left side of the infield. It's going to advance the runner over to third. Blue has it through the first and just does get Rafferty. For the first out of the inning, moves Smith, though, over to third base. So a long at bat there. Ends up getting the runner over to third with less than two outs, and the three-hole batter, Sam Clark, will come to the plate. Ended up being an 11-pitch at bat there for Rafferty. Really making Condry work there. Navy's going to play the infield back, so they'll concede the first run of the game on a ground ball, try to limit the damage here in this inning. First pitch to Clark, gets it over for a strike, and the count is 0-1. Clark yesterday 0 for 4. Batted 292 on the season, six home runs, 31 runs batted in. It's for another ribby here. Pitch is low. Counts one and one. So everybody is back all the way around. So ground ball anywhere unless it's hit right at the third baseman or at the pitcher. We'll score the first run of the game. 
Pitch there is lifted in the air out towards pretty shallow left field. Bourne coming on on the run. He makes the catch. Runner's going to try to tag. Bourne's throw home is offline. And it's a sacrifice fly for Sam Clark and Bucknell as the first run of this game. A sack fly in the bottom half of the first inning and a one to nothing lead. Doesn't hit very deep. But Bourne racing in. Couldn't get a his feet quite set on the throw and didn't get a ton on it. And Smith, who runs extremely well, able to score. So the leadoff double comes around to score there for Bucknell. Now it'll be Luke Johnson as they move him up to the cleanup spot in the lineup for today's game. Johnson yesterday one for four. He had a two out RBI in that eighth inning, knocking in the fourth and final run of the inning and chops the first pitch foul. The count is 0-1. So Navy immediately in an elimination game finds themselves behind one to nothing here in the first inning. And Navy managed only three hits in yesterday's game. Van Hoos is just two over the minimum in his complete game. There's a grounder to third. Nice backhand stop by Williamson. Long throw across, and he shows off the quarterback arm there as Williamson makes the play, and the inning comes to an end. Bucknell, though, does get on the board here in the first inning. They score a run on one hit, and they leave nobody on base. We'll go to the second. One to nothing, Bucknell leading Navy. Go to the second one to nothing, Bucknell leading Navy. Ben Gorney Goldstein back with you. A sacrifice fly by Sam Clark, knocking in the first run of the game in the bottom half of the first inning. So now Navy, after going down in order against Mike Castellani in the first, will have four, five, six, two up against the left-hander. Leland Sale, the right fielder, will lead things off here for Navy. Set a first pitch ball, and the count is 1-0. So Castellani, in two weeks ago, went six and a third innings against Navy, a game that Navy won five to four in ten innings. Navy did take three out of four from Bucknell last or two weekends ago as that one's lifted in the air out towards pretty deep center field, but playable for Smith, who backs up just shy of the warning track and makes the catch. And Sales retired. Castellani has put down the first four batters of this game. Christian Hodge will come to the plate. Castellani in that game did give up a first inning run to Navy. It's on a Leland Sale RBI single. And three others as Hodge stands in. First pitch strike. Counts 0 and 1. Hodge had two of the three hits for Navy yesterday, going two for three in the game. Now riding a nine game hitting streak coming into this one. Was that one off, and he's behind in the count 0-2. He swung it well towards the end of the season. Comes into this game, 281 batting average, four home runs and 25 runs batted in. But the nine-game hitting streak and sit safely in 14 of his last 15 as well. Maybe you couldn't find any offense early on in the game, really throughout didn't find much, even in the one inning that they scored in. They only sent four batters to the plate. Pitch low. Jacob Williamson waits on deck. Castellani, a guy who has gone the distance twice this season in nine inning games. Back-to-back -back complete game shutouts in nine inning games against Cornell and Lehigh this season. It was on March 26th and April 2nd. Two, two, down low, and now it's full here to Hodge. Three balls and two strikes. The big thing for Navy. Trying to work some deeper counts today against Castellani. They were not able to do so against Van Hoos, who needed only 101 pitches to throw nine innings. Once you get beyond Castellani and Van Hoos in this pitching staff for Bucknell, not a ton of depth. And Navy saw that two weeks ago 
in the Sunday games as they were really able to take advantage of the pitchers after that top two. Hodge dialing off another one, so a deep count worked here. Counts full, three balls and two strikes. One out and nobody on base. Payoff pitch again, hit foul. Hodge doing a good job of making Castellani work here. The second inning, Navy again. Games being played here in Annapolis, but they are the designated road team for game two. They were the home team in game one, and if there is a game three, Navy would be back to the home team in that one. Payoff pitch called, third strike looking. Nice breaking ball there. Throws Hodge for strikeout for Castellani. He's retired five in a row to start things. I'll bring up Jacob Williamson. Castellani, not a big strikeout pitcher. Only 42 strikeouts in 62 innings of work. But gets one there. Now here's Williamson. First pitch, that's a strike. Counts 0 and 1. Williamson yesterday 0 for 3. Pitch swing and miss, and quickly he's behind in the count, 0 and 2. One of two freshmen in the starting lineup, Williamson and Biggers. And one Evan Lowry who started yesterday on the bench today in favor of Scott Cascio who waits on deck as a swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt and back-to-back -back strikeouts for Castellani. And a similar start to Castellani as Van Hoos yesterday. He's retired six in a row to begin this game. We'll head to the bottom half of the second inning. One to nothing, Bucknell. Reported by Condry so after the leadoff single, and now two away, and Tyler Winsig will come to the plate. Not sure if that was, was Bell going on his own or a hit and run there. This Bell really doesn't run a ton on the season, just one for two in stolen base attempts. Maybe more of a hit and run, a quick pickoff attempt there. Bell back diving safely. So Noah Song did pick off two batters, two base runners in yesterday's game. Here's his first pitch to Winsig. This is for a ball. It counts 1 0. Winsig 0 for 2 with two strikeouts yesterday. He was pinch hit for to start that eighth inning, and that's when the rally for Bucknell did begin. Pitch there, that's over. First strike with a fastball, and it's evened up at 1 and 1. Winsig 200 batting average on the season. No home runs and 14 runs batted in. Has struck out in just over a third of his at bats this season. Pitch called a strike. And counts one and two here to Winsig. So Condry, not a leadoff double in the first, gave up a run. Now leadoff single here in the second. Trying to strand that runner on base. It's the senior trying to settle into this one. Patriot League Pitcher of the Year in his senior campaign. Now the one-two pitch runner going, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Throw down doesn't matter as the inning comes to an end. And Bell kind of glances back looking confused there after the strikeout by Winsick. And again, the inning comes to an end. No runs here in the second inning. One hit and one runner left on base. We'll go to the third, one to nothing. Bucknell leading Navy. Their chairs out to watch today's game out in left field there on the Grassy Knoll as we welcome you back out here to Max Bishop Stadium, start of the third inning. The one to nothing Bucknell lead. Castellani's retired all six batters that he has faced so far in this game. Bottom third of the lineup, it's Scott Cascio getting his first action of the Patriot League semis. You know, one pitch to him, fouled back, so quickly he's in the hole. No balls and two strikes. There's Cascio moving into the starting lineup for this game, batting 2 11 on the season. He does have two home runs and seven runs batted in. Swung it well when he had an opportunity, though, against Bucknell a couple of weeks ago. Started two of those four games. As the count's one and two. Went four for nine in the two games that he played against Bucknell with a double and a run batted in. And 
uh, quite a while between starts prior to that series. One, two, good breaking ball there. Castellani's curveball's been sharp so far in this one. He has struck out three in a row. Stepping in the catcher, Adrian Chinnery. Tired all seven that he's faced now in this game, and Adrian Chinnery will come to the plate. Castellani, not a big strikeout pitcher, but has struck out the last three batters that he's faced. And now a first pitch strike on a fastball there to Adrian Chinnery. The senior Chinnery went 0 for 3 in yesterday's game. Batting 274 on the season. Home run, 30 runs batted in. And a weak tapper foul behind the plate. Castellani very quickly ahead of another batter here. No balls and two strikes. Here's his pitch just outside, pretty close there. Seven up and seven down for Castellani. Yesterday it was Van Hoos who retired the first 15 batters of the game in a row. Pitch nearly hit him there and it's evened up at two and two. Second team all Patriot League as a senior. He was first team all Patriot League each of the last two seasons. Saw the batting average dip just a bit this season under 300. Now the pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's now four strikeouts in a row for Castellani. And two away here in the third, and Zach Biggers will come to the plate. Thanks for the second baseman, Zach Biggers. Castellani, his season high is six strikeouts, and he's already got four in this one. Another first pitch strike there to Biggers. Biggers 0 for 3 in yesterday's game. Been 331 on the season, four home runs, 22 runs batted in. Pitch there, grounder to the left side. Johnson is there. Fields throws the first, and it's in time, and Castellani third consecutive inning. One, two, three, he puts Navy down here in the third. No runs, hits, errors, nobody left on base. Well, to the bottom half of the third inning. Still a pitches here. For the bottom half of the third inning, he'll deal with 9-1-2 in the Bucknell lineup. Chucky Scales will lead things off, and then Brett Smith and Danny Rafferty here in the Home half of the third inning. It's Condry's first pitch taken high with the fastball, and the count is 1-0. And Bucknell, the designated home team here for this game, although they are wearing the road grays, and Navy wearing the home white pants. The pitch fouled off, and the count's evened up at 1-1. One one. There is a game three. Navy would have to win this game for there to be a game three. Navy would be back to the home team for that one. As the 1-1 one, one shows Bunt pulls back. It's a ball up high, and the count is two balls and one strike. Scales one for four. A run scored yesterday. He scored the go-ahead run in that eighth inning, scoring the second of four runs for Bucknell. And that pitch is outside, and it's three balls and one strike. 37 pitches through three perfect innings for Castellani on the other side, to go along with four strikeouts. As Condry winds his 3-1 pitch upstairs in the third consecutive inning, he has allowed the leadoff batter to reach. Good speed once again as he puts Chucky's scales on base. And now we'll have to deal with the tough top of the lineup here for Bucknell. This was the concern. Costacopoulos had coming into this series, short series, only have to win two games and could potentially get it done with two pitchers, and that's exactly what Bucknell is trying to do. Connor Van Hoos, complete game, allowed one run yesterday. He fouls that one back, counts 0-1. Here today, Castellani off to a tremendous start against Navy, and Bucknell potentially upset the top-seeded 
AV Midshipman only using two pitchers in this series. Pitch fouled off, and the count is 0-2. Smith, one for one. He doubled in the bottom half of the first inning, very first pitch that Condry threw, and then came around to score what is still the lone run of this game. She got scales over at first. He runs pretty well. Condry will check on him. Dives back in safely. Scales nine for 11 in stolen base attempts. Bucknell team doesn't run a ton. Scales the leader on the team in stolen bases. Set started to go then stopped and the pitch is up high. Smith, first team all Patriot League. Honoree again here in 2017. That honor also in 2016 as the runner is going. Pitch is hit on a hop to second. Blues only, rather to short. Blues only play is to go to first. Where they do get Smith for the out, but Chucky Scales running on the play prevents what probably would have been a double play ball there. It's a nice play to just snag it on a hop. And there's one away. A little lucky there for Bucknell as well. That ball was not caught in the air by Blues. It just barely short hopped in front of him. And the senior shortstop made a really nice play just to snag it. But another runner in scoring position here with one away. And Danny Ramferty to the plate. It's top three in the batting order for Bucknell. Pretty dangerous. And you look at Smith, Rafferty, and Clark. And Rafferty looks at a first pitch ball, and the count's 1-0. Oh. Rafferty, regular season, ended up 11th in the Patriot League in batting average, third in on-base percentage. So he draws quite a few walks. The pitch is low. Rafferty, 0 for 1. Ground out to short his first time up. Hit in the count here, 2 and 0. And gets that one over. And it's two balls and one strike. Bucknell forcing Condry to work here over the first few innings. The leadoff batter has been on in all three innings. So nothing easy so far for the senior right-hander. the pitch, that's a strike as Scales taking a large secondary lead down there at second base. Can very good speed, you would imagine any base hit to the outfield, Scales would be able to score pretty easily from second base, especially with the lead that he's able to get. Andre checks on him, 2-2 two -two pitch, a pop-up foul territory, third base side, Williamson going over, he slides and didn't make, did make the catch. The umpire originally waved it off and then made the out signal. And now Paul Costacopoulos is going over there, can't tell what the signal he made was, he did make an out signal. So they're going to say he caught it and went out of play, so the runner will get third base because Williamson went out of play. Ground rules here. There's a white line just beyond the Navy dugout there that is out of play. So Williamson made the catch but then goes out of play, and so Scales gets third base. Rafferty does pop out in foul territory, so two away, and Sam Clark will come to the plate. And the count is 1-0 and on a first pitch ball. So a nice play by Williamson, just couldn't keep his footing inside of that boundary line. Condry will work from the wind. Scales is going to get a nice running start down the third base line because Condry paying a ton of attention to him working out of the windup. 
And the count, two balls and no strikes here to Clark. Clark has the lone RBI in this game. Sack fly in the first inning. Now the 2-0 gets that one over. And it's 2-1. and one. Already 47 pitches in this game for Condry. Trying to work around a runner in scoring position here in the third. Scales walk to start the inning. To one delivery line foul, and now it's two and two. to two pitch, foul back. Clark was 0 for 4 yesterday. Here's the 2-2, two -two. reaches out and Fouls that one off. Remains two balls and two strikes. Clark, team all Patriot League third baseman again here in 2017. That honor in 2016 as well. Shine away, and now it's three balls and two strikes and a ton of deep counts over the first three innings worked by Bucknell hitters here against Kyle Condry. Condry able to throw four complete games in the regular season. Payoff pitch is a little looper out towards center field. Knowles coming on. He's going to have to play it on a hop, and it's a two-out RBI single for Clark, and the senior has his second RBI of this game, brings home scales, and it's a 2 to nothing lead here on the bottom half of the third inning for Bucknell. Didn't hit it very hard. But just put it in the right spot and was able to drop it in front of Next Knowles the there in center field. Luke Johnson. And now it's Luke Johnson coming to the plate. So Clark, the sack fly his first time up, RBI single here in the third, and now a two to nothing lead for Bucknell. On the other side, Navy still hasn't even put a runner on base yet in this game. 